Consciousness is a continuum. Things change, but consciousness will always remain. You always will be you. Just the thing is that the you that you truly are is unbounded totality. And the trick of us human beings is unfolding the truth of what we really are. Festival Independiente de Rizoma, en su edición Trans 2013, han conseguido tener la presencia de David Lynch. En esa propuesta trans entra asimismo uno de los objetivos del viaje a Madrid de David Lynch, hacer de embajador de la meditación trascendental que impulsa desde su propia fundación. El creador de ese universo está en Madrid para participar en el Festival Rizoma de Cine y Arte para hablar de su pasión por la meditación trascendental y, por supuesto, de sus películas. Una filmografía, la de Lynch, que abarca estilos, estados de ánimo, lúcidas o alucinadas visiones, pero siempre desde una perspectiva nueva, la suya, única e intransferible. Bueno, pues vamos a ver qué nos contaba David Lynch. Now here's the thing. I was feeling weak, uh, nervous, filled with a kind of anger, uh, and not really sure of myself. And uh, once I started Transcendental Meditation, I got this happiness coming up from within, and I felt more self-assured. I felt happier in the doing. Ideas seemed to flow more freely. Uh, relationships improved, and I started enjoying life. Is that Pedro? Yes, I am. Pedro. <laughs> Great to see you, Pedro. I would like to ask you uh, a question about meditation. Uh, you know, I do, I do it uh, from time to time. It's just, just being concentrated, I'm breathing, I know that I'm breathing, I know, uh, and just to say hello to all the images that they, I mean, they are in your mind. And that's it during 20 minutes. What do you think about this? Because perhaps I, I shouldn't do it again. Pedro, I would like to um, give you a gift of Transcendental Meditation from the David Lynch Foundation. <laughs> When you learn Transcendental Meditation, you'll experience that. And then you'll say, oh, I've got to call David on the phone and say thank you very much. I would like to ask you something about, well, related to some of your films. I'm really interested by your combination of dual uh, characters. You think uh, of the human being as a dualistic uh, I don't know, animal or spirit or whatever? Yeah, I don't know how it happens. I like uh, doubles. I always wanted to have twins, and I would name them Bob and Dan. But I never did have twins. But anyway, there's duality, and then there's unity. And that field within is unity. All this out here is duality, and the trick is to unify that. So, uh, I just, I always have liked this thing called a doppelganger, the other side, two sides to things in cinema. I don't know why. It comes with the idea and it gives me a good feeling. Yeah. I'm a secondary school teacher. So oh, you're a school teacher. Yes, and most of my students are troublemakers. Would you come with me tomorrow to my class to help me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I will come to your class, but I don't know, um, I have a busy schedule, but I would like to come to your class. Transcend means to go beyond. 
And what you're doing is unfolding your full potential as a human being. And you're unfolding more and more intelligence, creativity, happiness, love, energy, and peace. Real peace is the absence of all negativity. El hecho de que un director de cine de la talla de David Lynch se haya preocupado por, un, por unos alumnos de, un, de una escuela pública, a ellos les va a hacer sentir muy importantes. What was the best thing you learned from the teacher? Negativity is the enemy to creativity. The more we suffer, the less creative we are. And they all have potential. They, every human being's got a full potential. So don't take no for an answer. You'll be the pioneers of this, you know, city of Madrid. When did you decide to make films? I'm painting a picture of a garden at night, mostly black with some green. I sit back and I look at this painting and the green starts to move and I hear a, a wind and I say, wait a minute, a moving painting. And that started it. Got a cold wind blowing through my heart. Que nos digan que viene David Lynch a hablarnos. <laughs> No es algo que te pase todos los días. Para mí, yo creo que una especie de un antes y un después, se podría decir algo así. A mí cuando me dijeron, viene Lynch aquí a la Carlos III, lo dije, en serio, o sea, era como, no sé, como una propia película lynchiana. What kinds of things do you dream? I don't dream so much. I like to daydream. And I like to sit in a chair and daydream. I love dream logic. And cinema can say this dream logic. Cinema can say it. And that's one of the most beautiful things about the language of cinema. And so I was wondering, as a director, when you're looking for a specific type of performance, whether it's a crying scene or intense laughing scene, and your actor is not getting there emotionally, how do you usually, what tool do you usually use to help them get there? Actors need a safe place. Uh, you hear stories of directors um, uh, screaming at people or humiliating somebody to get a performance. I don't really believe in that. The better the feeling on the set, the easier it is for them to go deep and get that real thing happening on a deep level. Now, between you and me, <laughs> I want a true answer. Hay banda o no hay banda? <laughs> it's the answer is maybe both. No hay banda. There is no Orchestra. This is all a tape recording. No, I banda, and yet we hear a band. If we want to hear a clarinet, listen. They asked me to introduce uh, this film tonight, and I was thinking, I don't believe I've ever introduced one of my films before. And I think the reason is I wouldn't want to say something that would ruin the experience for you. But I can tell you that Eraserhead uh, is my first feature film. Dijo que a la salida firmaba y a la salida firmaba y atendía a los fans, así que bien. I fall in love a lot with stories that have, I say, concrete things and abstract things. So you can be seeing things and hearing things that are very abstract, 
but they're still talking to you, but the way to interpret it is through intuition. And this thing of intuition is like a knowingness. Well, are you optimistic of the future of cinema? I like they say, cinema will never die. Painting will never die. Photography will never die. So it just changes. I'd like you to talk about um, the creative process with Angelo Badalamenti mainly. Angelo can write any kind of music. So what music is he going to write? I sit next to him on the piano bench and his hands are on the keys. And I start talking to Angelo about mood or different things and he plays my words. And then I say, no, 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 no. I say new words, Angelo plays. Angelo, 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 you know, Angelo. And he, and he starts going. And, and very, pretty fast, he finds a thing that is satisfying the necessary mood for that, for that thing. Uh, how would David Lynch define something Lynchian? I uh, answer that my doctor has told me not to think about this. <laughs> what advice would you give to young people here in Spain that are looking to enter the world of cinema? <laughs> the best thing, I, I think, is be true to yourself. Find your own voice. Be true to the ideas. Never make a film without final cut. Don't walk away from any element until it feels correct. The most important thing is that you love what you did, you did the best you could in every element, in every way. Crank up that radio. Let me tell y'all a story. Una de las ventajas que transmite Lynch es su modestia, su sencillez. ¿no? Nada es porque sí llega David Lynch a explicarnos que también hay otras perspectivas, que también podemos aplicar otra manera de ver la vida. Yo creo que es muy importante, ¿no? O sea, de alguna manera esto va a crear un germen en todos nosotros, ¿no? Entonces, pues bienvenido sea. And fun loving, uh, loving the arts and partying. And it's a great feeling to have.